Welcome back to the channel of Banner. I hope you are doing absolutely well. This is Eddie back with another video. So today it's going to be the review of the Atom OS based on Android 10 for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here is my Redmi Note 5 Pro running the Atom OS. Let me first show you about device section before talking about anything else. So going into the Android version, as you can see, this is based on Android 10, the letters from Google. That's really nice. So talking about other stuff, the security patch is of November 5, 2019. That's really nice. Vendor security is of June 5, 2018. It's a little bit old, yep. And as you can see the other things like the kernel, again the kernel is PERF plus version is 4.4.192. We have seen this kernel in pretty much so many other Android 10 ROMs which I have reviewed on this channel. So talking about other stuff, let me show you the digital well-being and parental control. As you can see here it is digital well-being. It works absolutely well. I didn't update anything from the Play Store but still the graph is showing properly. All the usage is shown properly over here as you can see. It's pretty much similar to other ROMs by the way, there are no any major difference in this ROM and other ROM but there are a few bugs which I'll be talking about in the later part so do watch this video until the end. Security, I mean the fingerprint scanner and lock screen types are working absolutely well in this ROM. You need to wait for 1 or 2 seconds in order to use the fingerprint scanner after you have locked the device. That's like default thing in all the Android 10 ROMs which are coming out recently. It will be fixed in the upcoming updates, yep. The bug which I was talking about, this is the bug guys, as you can see Google keeps stopping and I get this pop up every now and then while using the ROM which is just annoying for me as you can see. But there are no any force closes in the applications, Google applications. Only the thing is that pop up is appearing every now and then. It might be because of the G apps what I have installed. I have installed G apps beta unofficial, the nano package which I downloaded and yep I flashed the same G apps in all other ROMs which I reviewed till date like the Android 10 ROMs. But in all those rooms, there was no any issue like the G apps are stopping or the Google app has stopped, nothing like that. But it's appearing in this room. So talking about other stuff like the display option, as you can see, all the standard stuff is present. Double tap to wake is enabled. Let me re-enable it and see whether it works or not. Yep, it works as you can see. That's really neat. Because this feature was not working in some of the rooms, but it's working in this room. That's really nice. So talking about other things, as you can see, the display size can be changed and again that pop-up is here. It's really annoying as I told you earlier, dark theme. Also switch to dark theme, okay. Here it is, the dark theme is working absolutely well. It looks really nice, but I'll be with the light one itself. Live display is here and the reading mode, let us try it out. Works absolutely well, as you can see. Night light, let us try it out really quick. Yep, working absolutely well. You can change the intensity of it from there. Talking about the customization options, guys, there are no any major customization options, but there are a few here in the system. As you can see, the status bar customizations are over here. As you can see, like the quick pull on, let us try it to write. Works absolutely well. Network traffic monitor, which is disabled. Let me enable that. I don't have any active internet connection right now, but it should work fine. Clock position can also be changed from left to right. Yep, let me keep it on right and other settings like the battery percentage only the thing which i didn't see working here is the battery percentage i have already enabled it to next to the icon but nope it's just not there as you can see nowhere here let us try inside the icon nope not working this thing is not working in this room the battery percentage which is a major thing for me as a tester, I need to keep an eye on the battery percentage every now and then while testing the ROM, but that thing is not over here. Instead, it's present in the battery option. Let me show you that. As you can see, here it is. It should have been there in the, in the status bar, but it's not there. It's not working for some reason. So those were some of the customizations you can say, like not the major ones, but there are a few like the buttons customization too. Here it is, including the hardware keys, power menu. Here they are. Let me show the power menu really quick. These are the power menu options. Advanced restart option is kind of not there over here. Let us see over here. And I don't think so that option is present in this room. Not a big deal by the way. So talking about the camera application guys, here is the camera app. This is the MIUI camera app and it's working absolutely well. Only the issue is the portrait mode. It is also working fine, but sometimes it gives that weird error. Like when you shake the device, it gets freezed. As you can see, as I was talking about the error, error is present over here, it appeared. 
that's a common issue in all the rooms it's not the fault of room i think talking about the antidote results let me show you my antidote benchmark scores really quick what i got the recent one as you can see i've got a score of 1,14,831 and those who need more information pause the screen and have a look at it here it is talking about the performance in this room guys performance is pretty good in this room i didn't have any bugs like lags or anything like that in this room based on performance and the app opening times are also fast enough as you can see it opens in a blink and music player is also there sound output is kind of good not the best or not the worst and it's blazingly fast as per me as you can see and talking about the pubg gameplay guys I'm not sure whether it's because of the new update. I recently got a new update today, like 200 MBs or something. I downloaded that, but the HD option is not there in this room. That's one of the saddest part of this room. HD option is not there in this room. The only options available are smooth and balanced. That's it. And on balance, it lags a little bit. You will be only able to play PUBG on smooth graphic setting, which is not that great as the device is capable of playing it on HD. But still, that option is not there in this room. And I am again telling this, I am not sure whether it's because of the new update or because of the ROM. Most probably it's because of the ROM itself. I need to test it with any other ROM. So I will be doing that in next few days. So stay tuned for that. In a nutshell, the PUBG gameplay was not that great in this room. Battery consumption was again similar, 3% or 4% for one TDM match or less than that. But it just depends on the graphic settings. For me, it matters a lot. I play on like HD graphics, but not with this room. So talking about the battery life till now, let me show you my battery states really quick. So going into the battery and the battery usage. When I first booted the ROM, the device was somewhere around 97 to 98% of charge. I used a couple of applications over here as you can see. Some of them are not appearing by the way. I played PUBG, it says 36 minutes. Nope, I didn't play for 36 minutes. I played for like uh, 3 or 4 TDM matches and for 1 TDM match it was draining somewhere around 2% or 3%, not more than that. Share it, yep, I used for 18 minutes to transfer a couple of files and there it had drained somewhere around 8% of battery. YouTube again I used for 25 minutes plus, there it had drained somewhere around 5% of battery. Camera I used for 10 minutes and there it had drained I think so like 2 or 3% not more than that. But in all this mixed usage guys, now the battery is down to 75% and I can say that the battery life in this room is not the best what I have seen. It's good and it's not like worst or anything like that. It's definitely good but it's not the best what I have seen on an Android 10 room. Yep, that's the thing. But still, I'll continue to use this room as my daily driver for two or three more days and let you guys know on my Instagram stories. Link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere over here. You can follow me over there. You can DM me if you have any other questions regarding any room out there. I will definitely reply to each and every one. So here are the applications, as you can see. All the standard ones, except Antidote Benchmark, Share It, YouTube, PUBG, all other apps came pre-installed with this room. This is what it is. So guys, this was a quick little review of the Atom OS running on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm active over there. You can ask me any questions regarding tech. This is all about Technology 24 into 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.